Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Indira, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, it's really nice to see you back. And if you're new, hello, it's me, Indira. <laughs> Um, anyway, so in this video, um, I'm going to be showing you how I've upholstered my armchair. Let's just call this an IKEA hack. Um, it's a really, really, well, it's not really, really that old, but it is an old sofa that was gifted to me uh, a few years back when I first moved into my flat. And uh, when I first received the sofa, it had no cover on it. Um, and it's, it, I've left it like that for a few years. Uh, I know that you can actually purchase uh, a cover uh, with any sofa that you get from Ikea. Um, I think that most of the sofas come without cover and then you have to like purchase the cover separately. Uh, but I've never bought one because I thought, I can do this myself, I can make my own cover. Why spend money on something that you can do yourself? So I kind of just left it. But then after a few years, I thought, okay, this really needs some color because it was like a calico color to it. So I thought, okay, now it's time to really to get something for the sofa because I mean it's looking really ugly at the moment so I went ahead and I bought some paint um, some fabric paint that I purchased from Amazon and I've painted it I mean it didn't come out really good but I, I just left it because I thought oh, I don't really want to do any more work on this sofa so I just kind of just left it and it was great but um, after a few years it was just, it started just looking really dingy and it got stained I have a, a, a little toddler as well so you know, she plays on the sofa and it, you know you get stained and things like that and it's, it's like looking really dirty so I'm thinking okay it's really time to do something about this cover let's go ahead and make this cover that you've been saying that you're going to do um, for so many years so yeah so uh, I've gone ahead and I have upholstered the sofa and um, I have never done this before and uh, so I'm going I went into this blindly I've seen a few videos on YouTube and upholstering kind of looks pretty straightforward and I thought okay I can I can I can do this myself I mean I'm not an expert but I have gone in and I have but uh, kind of just found my way through it and I'm gonna tell you what I have done and uh, the techniques that I've used to upholster this sofa so if you like this video kindly subscribe and thumbs up the video and comment what you think of the final result so without any further ado here's the video so here's the armchair before as I've mentioned in the introduction I have previously painted it in a grey fabric paint. So the first thing I did was to pin the fabric straight onto the armchair following the pattern that was already there. For those who are interested in what type of fabric this is, I'm using a cotton and linen mix. So when I finished pinning and tracing the fabric, I cut it to size. So after that I pin the other side making sure that the two sides match and then I'll go ahead and sew the two sides together. process on the other side.
when I've finished doing all the sides, I've gone ahead and I've sewed all the parts together. So now it's time to do this curved bit here. I'm not really sure what you call this, but let's just call it um, a curved bit just for the purpose of this video. So I've done that. I've used a rectangular shaped fabric and pinned it to uh, the uh, other bits of the fabric and I'm gonna sew it together only because I don't want to risk losing the shape like if I were to just cut it out and um, pinned then I might end up uh, losing that shape so I've decided to sew it together and um, to have it all secured for when I pull the whole fabric out to sew it on the machine begin with I used quite a thin needle to do this which was a huge mistake because it snapped halfway through so make if you're gonna do this just make sure that you're using a really really thick needle on the sewing machine. Once all the parts are sewn together, it's time to staple it all onto the sofa. I start with stapling the inside of the sofa, the inside meaning where the cushion goes uh, because you want to make sure that you've got it that bit in place before you do the, uh, the underneath part. Um, in my case I did that because I just felt that if I had this part together and I do the underneath part I would be able to kind of pull it all into place. How it looks like without the cushion unfortunately I don't have a footage of how I made the cushion but it's pretty much like doing a cushion um, like a normal bed or sofa cushion so what I've done here is that I have folded the edges so that there's no frilling video let me know what you guys think do you guys think that it looks good um, do you guys like the fabric um, yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed if you enjoy watching me if you enjoy watching my DIY and also I've got a, a few videos on my channel already so I welcome you to have a look at those as well let me know what you think comment subscribe and all of that good stuff anyway and uh, thank you very much again for watching i hope to see you soon thank you very much bye